Hello, I'm Dean Karstens, and this is Dean's End Scale Trains. Over the last few weeks, I've been I put out two videos on the planning process and the philosophy on designing my next small layout. The two are were quite popular, and I decided it was time to start construction. So today, I'm going to talk about doing the bench work for my railroad, and here it is. I'll show you the construction techniques that I use to put it together. The whole thing is based on Atlas track laid on masonite hardboard over styrofoam. This video is going to deal only with building the bench work. In my next video, I'll talk about laying the track and putting in the wiring so we can begin running trains. With my methods, it's easy to build great changes, rivers, mountains, and so on. The material is easy to cut and easy to form. One common way to support your railroad layout is to lay the track, generally using foam or cork roadbed, onto a sheet of plywood. This is relatively easy, but it's actually too flat. It's heavy and it's difficult to construct. Also, there are problems when you make grade changes. I like to use foam board. It's cheap, easy to use, lightweight, and dimensionally stable. And the low and high areas are easy to construct, so you can put in rivers, mountains, etc. Lately, many people have using plywood have started using tapered risers from Woodland Scenics. These are manufactured out of foam board, and they can be placed on the plywood and bent to make curves. In an earlier video, I talked about problems with this method, the abrupt changes in grade, particularly with the 4% uh, grade. Here's a diagram of my layout that I've talked about in previous videos. The dashed lines are cut lines that I'll talk about later in this one. I want to first talk about the section AA to show you how I put together the uh, foundation. Here's a construction diagram through section AA that shows how I assembled the table base for my railroad layout. The whole assembly is strong but lightweight. The Atlas track sits on a Woodland Scenics foam roadbed, which in turn sits on 1 8 inch masonite hardboard. Everything is glued together with liquid nails adhesive. The masonite is glued to a sandwich of two sheets of 3 quarter inch styrofoam on one, one sheet of 1 inch styrofoam all glued together with liquid nails. The thicknesses of the foam boards are not critical. I have the one inch plywood on, one inch sheet on hand from a previous project and purchased two more sheets of the three quarter inch foam board. The upper road beds are raised on two sheets, two pieces of one inch styrofoam. The box that everything sits in is made of three quarter inch by two and a half inch pine the styrofoam is held at the bottom with a bead of liquid, more liquid nails. Eventually, I'll make a 1 8 inch masonite fascia strip to fa fasten around the outside of the whole, whole table. I will add chapters to the final YouTube video so that you can skip around to look at the various stages of the construction process if you wish. The boards I'm using are nominal 1 inch by 3 inch select pine. Actually, they're three quarters inch by two and a half inches. Next step is to fasten the long piece against these pieces that I've just made up. So here's where we stand now. The table has been finished with all four legs sitting on the ground there 
and I've got a sheet of masonite up on the, the work table. Now I'm going to cut it to the dimensions of 80 inches by 36 inches to match the top of the table. To cut the foam, I use two tools. One, a very sharp knife. The other is a hot, hot iron cutter. We'll see how this works. Now one problem with this unit is it has an on and off switch. So you can inadvertently leave it on and put it down and burn yourself or start a little fire or something. So watch that. Okay, this edge I previously cut with a sharp knife. As you can see, it's uh, a little bit rough, but I'm gonna redo it with this cutting tool. So to simplify things, I took the legs off. I put numbers on them to show where they go. Now I'm going to uh, mark this sheet. This is a it's another three quarters inch sheet. I had several sheets of not only one inch foam board that has been sitting around from a previous project. I'm just going to use that. Following the instructions in the Atlas track planning software, I printed out the full-size diagram of the layout plan on several sheets of paper. I then laid these out in order on the masonite and glued them down. Okay, I laid out the first lay, the first row of printed uh, layout diagram. I'm going to trim off the excess. Now these pieces are supposed to just butt up together with no overlapping. I'm going to use a technique similar to decoupage and it may not work, we'll see.
So right now, the hardboard is sitting on foam, but I want to cut the hardboard, but not the foam. So I'm going to scoot it down. marked off the river. It's going to go right through here. At this point, I removed the, the backing from the foam.
Now with just the foam board down, I'm gonna mark where the parts I wanna glue are sitting. No, we don't wanna, we don't wanna mark, we don't wanna glue this part, so. I'm going to use Liquid Nails Extreme Heavy Duty. It's probably more that's needed, but um, it is okay to, fo to uh, glue foam board with this. Next, I put down some paint cans to hold it, and I'm going to let it set overnight. Okay, I want to raise this part between here and here by two inches. So I cut a couple of two inch foams, boards, about three inches wide. Some more of my cough down, my glue. Additional supports were glued in and the edge was glued down where needed. As you can see, if you've been following these videos, I've been using a very nice uh, bench that I was laying around the house for some time, but now it's time to uh, put on the legs and uh, get rid of the bench. So, when I first did that, when I put this together, I didn't countersink the holes. To do that, I'm going to use this um, this large drill bit. And just drill this down.
To strengthen the legs, these diagonal pieces were placed at all four corners. So that's it for this video, the second in the series on constructing the Conejos Valley Railroad. If you want to see more of these videos, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and give me a thumbs up if you like it. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it.